So this morning on an office hour call helping out a game developer, we were working through some stuff on Blender. And now Blender's not my main focus, right? I'm mainly a game programmer, game designer, small team producer, but functional fluent in sound effects and art in Blender. And so as we're trying to find a way to do something in it, what we encountered was that Blender's recently had another update, right? I mean, there's a big UI change from 279 to 281 to 3 more recently. By the way, Blender, if you're not familiar, it's just a free 3D modeling program. It's really powerful. You can literally download it today and just make 3D models, but it is also very complex and constantly evolving. And so part of that power comes from so many options to kind of wade through. And we're looking for an option in the menu, and it raised this point that's useful about general learning, even outside of Blender, where what happened was we were trying to find an option that used to be in one location and then moved to another location, and now it's in a third location. And as we're looking for it and trying to double check things and checking under different areas, what became clear was that we're not going to forget where it is in the future. Both of us learned it in the process precisely because we had to look for it. And it can sometimes feel as if what we want to have happen is that things go smoothly automatically. We don't have to think about them. But if you're not thinking about it, you're not really learning it. You're not internalizing it. You can't recall how you went about it. And it's almost more valuable, right, to both get that practice going back and forth, treading over making a real point to yourself, where is the thing I found it only because you encountered a difficulty or an obstacle or an unexpected complication. And then almost if you think of like a path where you walk over grass, right, they call them desire paths, where eventually the footprints cause the grass to stop growing because people keep walking there. That really is the same sort of thing happening in your thoughts as to your memory access of if it keeps having to kind of bump against and find it, you're really making a much deeper, better rut in your recall and your memory and your understanding of your mastery, you're internalizing this outside model of how things happen, it begins from bumping against that obstacle. Remind a little bit of an old wrestling exercise we used to do with the team was we'd be kneeling on the mat, arms in, uh, either eyes closed or eyes open, depending, and our sparring partner would just be trying to shove us over from different directions with the expectation that we'd have to recover as quickly as we could, knowing full well that there's never going to be a situation where you're never getting pushed around. The reaction just has to be that I am prepared for that and then to recover rapidly from it. And again, in the same way, when you're working on whether it's code, whether it's 3D modeling, whether it's sound, whether it's music, whether it's some other side or something unrelated to games entirely, making your podcast, trying to build a customer base for a business, etc., you're going to run into situations where it's going to constantly be pushing you off balance. And the act of doing the thing is precisely to recover from that. It's to take that complexity that it surfaced for you in the process to keep pushing against it. And then that is the learning process. That is you updating your thinking. That is your mental model becoming more tightly bound to exactly how the thing outside of you really works. And that's how the progress happens. So to not see that when that happens as things aren't going well, or I'm bad at this, that that is the activity. And that sort of troubleshooting recovery, push through finding I know what's in there somewhere, we're going to figure it out. That will take you far, right? That's what makes you unstoppable, no matter what else might pop up, as opposed to somebody who things always kind of seem to just go smooth for. And then the first sign of complication trouble or something not quite matching exactly what tutorial says, they're stuck. It's not how you want to be. That's it for the day. Thanks for always following along. Catch another day. Bye for now.